Continuing to fill questions for you, Samili, I have a student asking from within our Telegram group based on what he's read on Reddit, okay, that will going through the Melman PDFs, my PDFs, artificially inflate your scores on the NBME exams because I base my content on the NBMEs because the NBMEs are the real US Samili. So in turn, is that going to artificially inflate your score? I mean, it's a, it's a reasonable point, point to consider, isn't it? So I will address this, give you a very fucking clean and excellent answer here. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, m e h l m a n underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. And I'll start the clip. So will doing the Melman PDFs, my PDFs, artificially inflate your scores in the NBME exams? Because obviously I base my content on the NBME material. The answer is it's not fucking true. Okay, if you're studying the correct material, you are going to see a score augmentation. That's how it works. You get students who would prefer to score lower on the NBMEs and on the real deal, having studied obscure resources that have no fucking relation to the real USMLE material, than to just study the correct material, get a significant and dramatic augmentation in score on the NBMEs that is what will translate over to their real deal. Now, my PDFs, it's mostly conceptual, okay? I mean, the vignettes, they're not 100% verbatim, most of them, okay? It's based the content I write, it's an amalgamation. It's a combination of a decade of tutoring, observations I make with students as to what students struggle with the most, concepts that need to be elucidated, as well as just the highest yield content on the NBME exams, concepts I see repeatedly. So yes, I do, I do discuss some vignettes, but overall, uh, the content in my PDFs, it's just very on point. It's very fucking consolidated. It's not to go on a diatribe tangentially about other resources like first aid, but it should be at least be minimally articulated that you'll have to memorize 50 fucking things from FA for one to show up in your exam. And especially within the realm of the pass fail step one now, it's a waste of your fucking time. Okay. So the Melman PDFs, my PDFs, you can do them at any point throughout your prep. You can do them throughout your world. You can do them prior to your NBMEs. Okay. Don't worry about a score augmentation. Recognize that if you're studying the correct material, your scores are going to go up. And UWorld, they base their fucking questions off the NBME exams, and you don't get students complaining. Prior to your, your real USMLA, recognize that high yield arrows is the most important PDF to get you over the pass mark for step one, okay? So obviously I have PS, many different subject areas, but it's going to be high yield arrows that is highly specific. It rules in for you passing the USMLA. You know the deal on your team, make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.